Good morning. So it's a Sunday morning. Me and Mila are up <laughs> and ready to tackle some problems in the yard. I have let my yard go crazy in weeds for the last few months. I'm trying to catch up, but it takes forever. <laughs> so today I'm going to look at a few small problems that I can fix within about an hour and then go on with my day. <laughs> you want to say hi? Hi! <laughs> so first, Mila showed me that this plant keeps dying on us. These pansies. Oh, guys, Yep. <coughs> oh, bless you! <laughs> <laughs> and I find this plant like this every, every other day. It just droops down and just not gonna be a great idea for my area. And it's okay. We planted um, like eight Gladioluses, or I don't know how you call them. So we have two come out. We're very excited. It's our little baby garden for Mila. <laughs> I also got these chimes yesterday from an antique store for like seven bucks or something. And they were so beautiful. We love chimes. Okay, so I also have a citrus tree right here. I have mandarin. It's a Owari. It's like one of those with a very soft skin type of mandarins and last year it gave us about eight mandarins and it's tiny it's so small <laughs> but it produces a good amount um, especially considering it being um, third year of its life in here it's doing pretty good <sighs> the flowers are starting to to bloom so it's gonna smell good so do you see all the ants climbing up and down they're laying some kind of eggs I'm not sure what these eggs are, but I'm going to have to spray that too. So I'm trying this tomato and vegetable uh, spray. It's supposed to be um, pretty good for vegetables and I think it's just a bunch of different oils as far as I research, so it shouldn't be as bad for environment and everything. I love that the new growth is, is pretty healthy. It's just this one branch that they just really enjoy, it seems like. So we'll see how that goes. So this plant, I'm looking at this sad little plant every day and just not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with it. <laughs> a really hardy plant. I actually have neighbors who have a whole row of them and they're super bushy and flowering at this, at this time. This one's mine. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try to fertilize it. Um, I've tried fertilizing it in January, so about three almost four months ago I'm gonna just use this one just because I used the real fertilizer before and I feel like it's a little too too early Mama, I want to help you I know you do want to help me you always help me very well so what happened is before it was it lived in a pot then in um, in a box a planter box so it was done by a worker who was doing our concrete work because he had to move this plant and basically he said well I'm gonna I'm gonna uproot it from the box. When he was transpla transplanting it, he literally, I think, cut off most of the uh, most of the roots, and then it it, it became this. <laughs> I'll update you on its journey later. So Mila gets a little bit preoccupied <laughs> with something. Hi. Else. Look at our beautiful bouquet. Yeah, I want to eat. Mhm. Mm we 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 collected it ourselves yeah she wanted to decorate her little outdoor kitchen Look. i'll give you a tour one day so now she, mila's going to be occupied here with painting of her house a little birdhouse and now the decoration for our outdoor kitchen we have to decorate our kitchen all the time cute and i have a question for you we're trying to figure out what to do with this area right here uh it is basically just lost yard that we never use <laughs> this is a full shade spot uh, we get maybe about one hour off sun a day which is right now around noon i really don't know what to do with it i'm not planning on planting anything yet maybe potentially something along the fence here but honestly we spend almost no time in here so i just not right now right now we just need to clear off all the weeds because they're really transferring onto our yard big time because we just let them grow here <laughs> We're thinking of putting a shed right here and de-weeding everything 
you know, God save my hands for this in my back. <laughs> Putting mulch down, but if you guys give and give me a suggestion, have you had experience with weed fabric? We have one side of our yard covered with weed fabric and then mulched on top. Squirrels on top there. <laughs> right here, there's a squirrel's fence. And the dog is trying to chase it. Right there, look. Oh! <laughs> we don't want to have too much. Milos, don't touch it, please. Thank you. Uh, so we don't have too much experience with weed cloth, but I have a feeling that's what I will have to do here, even though environmentally everything I read, it's not the best thing to do. And please give me suggestions about these kind of yard, side yards. Um, I was thinking of doing ground cover, but don't forget, we have water shortage, so drought, and we literally almost never spend any time in here. And that's my really only concern. I don't want to spend water on things that will just have to grow for no one. I have these three wild uh, pears in here. I'm thinking of maybe planting something right here, potentially, for Mila for her little kitchen area. Your job will be to stay right here and hold it right here. Little helper. <laughs> I should have sent you all along. I don't know why I had to go there. You should have gone there. I should have just stayed in the same spot. <laughs> you seen your red numbers? 54. Good job, Cutting. That's probably really close. So we're taking a break. <laughs> And we're gonna have our blueberry pie that me and Mila made the other day. Maybe one day we'll make a recipe together. We love making our blueberry sour cream pie. It's very good. Look at this. Soy bastard. 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 Soy this bougainvillea it's really beautiful we've had it for a couple of months i left it in its own pot it's absolutely gorgeous plant i've always wanted to plant it so um i got this planter for it i'm gonna plant it into it this one didn't fit right that's my old one and my plan is to let it grow up here and potentially kind of a little bit go up this way maybe we'll see Of my pot. I turn it on. Find something else to do, please. Did you finish painting your your house? How about you finish painting this? I'm gonna put a few small rocks at the bottom first, around the drain holes, so they don't get clogged up with dirt. Nice and planted. Now I'm gonna take it there. Okay guys, uh, so we finished planting the bourguignonvillea and watered it. We finished uh, grilling because <clears throat> the Daryl was grilling at the same time. So now we're gonna have some dinner and they'll be it for gardening today, I think. So thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Bye bye. Okay, very nice. So this is super satisfying. <laughs> if you ever pull the dandelion, they do not come out. Okay? They don't just don't come out. Here's a good spiky one that's really painful to touch with your hands. Okay, perfect. Yes, the whole thing came out. Perfection. Officially best best 30 bucks spent ever. So I have to literally break my back trying to get these giant spiky things out okay i'm gonna go grab this guy and that guy here okay 
Okay. <laughs> Good luck to me, these little human sides. <laughs> Okay, we got the root. Perfect. Wow. He sent triples. That is creative. Okay. Oh, молодец. Вытащила. Okay, we're gonna go on with our life. I just wanted to show you how cool this little de-weeder thing is. I'll link it because it's absolutely amazing. I think I better shouldn't invest into this. Okay, bye-bye.